Every decision we make is human-centered. Consume, extract, profit. It's human-centered decision-making. And human-centered decision-making will produce for us a world that says, I no longer want you to live there. From the beginning of human existence, man has shared the earth with animals. But with the rapid growth of the human race, we are increasingly being forced to compete for space. This competition poses a severe threat to the existence of species all over the world, and the effects are already being seen in South Africa's Kruger Park. The existence of the African elephant has been in jeopardy for many years, due to widespread poaching and the international demand for black market ivory. However, in much of southern Africa, containment, increased protection and aggressive conservation efforts have resulted in a dramatic increase in the elephant population. You need to create corridors for the elephants back to the mountains. But it's not so that you can save the elephants. It's so that you can reinstate a sustainable life for us humans in the long haul. So this is not about elephants. And if you want to go on containing the elephants and culling them in Kruger because there's no space or because they're damaging the biodiversity, you have fundamentally missed the point. It's not just an, an elephant issue. It's a, it's a combination of man, elephant, man's impact, the way we manage things, how we utilize fire, uh, you know, how we treat the system as a whole. And, uh, and this is where everyone's got a responsibility. And the only hope that we're faced with, in my view, is a growing global consciousness. You will come with a different approach to our existence on this planet. It may not be you, it may be your children. But it is you, the individual. It is you, just you, in the way in which you conduct your relationship with the Earth.